Hey, this is Brett, and we are walking through part two of how to migrate from LearnPress, the learning management system, to LearnDash. And uh, we've already installed the plugin in a previous uh, example. We purchased LearnDash, and we installed uh, that plugin and the licenses and everything, and now we're ready to start migrating stuff over. I'm logged into our dashboard. Now, this is a, a relatively brand new site. We aren't actually offering any classes yet, and we have both LearnPress and LearnDash installed, and we have them installed on purpose so that we can start to migrate some of the content, the courses and lessons and things like that that we built in LearnPress over to LearnDash. And as you may recall, we installed a plugin to help with this. It was called Post Type Switcher. Um, it's got over 70,000 active installs, but it hasn't been updated in a few months. Now, the documentation on this is a little sparse, but the screenshots basically sum up what's possible. Uh, so we can go into any type of uh, post that we might have or any other custom post type. And in the area where you would normally uh, check uh, something like your published status, you'll now see a new drop down item for the type of post it is. And we can individually change uh, something from a post to a custom post type or anything else. There's also a bulk edit option uh, that allows us to do more than one uh, item at a time. So we're going to walk through that a little bit. But first, we also need to understand a little bit of how LearnDash is built. Now, I'm not walking through the setup of how to set up LearnDash itself. They've got some great uh, tutorials, uh, both in text and in video and images, that uh, you'll get access to right after you purchase LearnDash. However, I do want to emphasize how they're organized. So the default organization is to have a top level item of courses and then lessons below that and then topics that roll up under those lessons. So it'll be topics um, that can fill up a lesson and multiple lessons that fill up a course. In addition, there are also quizzes and the ability to run groups and assignments. That's not pertinent for what we're doing. We're not migrating uh, groups over and quizzes in particular cannot be migrated from LearnPress uh, to LearnDash. So we'll have to do those things. We'll have to recreate those quizzes and their questions manually. But we can move uh, the lessons that we built in LearnPress over to LearnDash. Now, LearnPress does not have uh, topics. So let's take a look. We have LearnPress installed, and you'll notice they have courses, lessons, quizzes, questions in those quizzes and then some other information relating to selling courses. Whereas if we scroll down a little further, we see that LearnDash has courses, as we mentioned before, lessons and topics, and then a number of other items that won't be relevant for this migration. So we need to move our lessons over. And one of the things that you'll notice, if we follow this example, if we come into our LearnPress lessons, uh, these things already exist. And if we look at these lessons, and I'm going to uh, take a look at a single lesson first, uh, and I highly advise doing this so that you can get orientated on what can be moved. You'll notice as we look at this particular lesson, uh, as we come over in this publishing box, uh, default box in WordPress, it's got an extra thing called post type in it, and it's got lesson. Now, important point, both systems have lessons, and this is our LearnPress uh, created custom post type and lesson is marked as a checked default here, you'll notice the order of these items. So what this means is we have our LearnPress items towards the bottom here. So we have a LearnPress course, LearnPress lesson, and a quiz, whereas up here we have our LearnDash items showing up just underneath our other uh, WordPress and WooCommerce uh, uh, items. So if you didn't check this first and see one already checked, you might not necessarily know which lesson rolled up under which system. So we want to move this particular lesson and many like it over into the Learn Dash system. So I'm going to do this one uh, first. All we have to do is select that other lesson. I can double check my work. Yes, that top lesson item is there. Hit OK. And as always is necessary in WordPress, we're going to hit Update to save our work. And now as we come down into LearnDash, if we check our lessons, we see one of our lessons here. So we're, we're getting started. Now we could go through those individually and that might be somewhat of a slow process. Or we can do them in bulk using that same plugin. 
So I want to take a look at uh, doing some of these in bulk. And I want to specifically, I want to look at the lessons that we've created that are assigned to a course. So I'm going to uh, hit this filter button twice to search on the items that are assigned to a course because we actually have a few lessons that we hadn't attached to a course yet. We duplicated a few as we were using them as templates and a number of different things. So I want to take everything that's assigned to the course, and we only have one course live, so this migration is going to be uh, a little easier uh, than it might be if we had multiple courses. I'm going to select everything, and I noticed as I scrolled through to double check my work, there was uh, this item here that wasn't assigned yet, so I'm going to uncheck that one. I don't want to move that over yet. And so I cut everything there. And by the way, uh, we keep uh, uh, nightly backups of the site. So we have a backup of our database and our entire site that we can roll back to in case we need it. Now, I want to come into the bulk uh, actions and choose edit. And we're going to hit apply. And again, you'll notice this extra field over here. And we want to choose the top, the lesson that appears top of that list. There's two lessons. We want the learn dash one. And then we're going to hit update. And this may take a while. I wouldn't necessarily recommend trying to do 50 or 100 of these at once. I just went with the default 20. Although if I wanted to change the number that we were working on, I could come into screen options and change it. But sometimes uh, what that requires is the database has to go into every single uh, field there and make an edit. And some, uh, depending on your server or your host, it may time out on you and you may not get all of them done or something might uh, get partially done, which would be even worse. It could cause some problems. So keep think along the lines of uh, safely doing a few is better than trying to do everything all in one swoop. So that covered most of them. Let's go down and double check our work one more time, looking in Learn Dash to see if they came across. And yes, we see our lessons coming through. Excellent. Okay, so let's go back up and repeat that to get the rest of our uh, assigned lessons transferred over. And again, I'm going to sort on the course. And sort again, the default is to show the not assigned. And I'm going to select everything. I'm going to uncheck this one at the top. Scroll through. Make sure there's no other unassigned items in there. And there is. Keep going. Okay, and this time while I'm at the bottom, I'm going to do my bulk action to Edit, apply, choose my post type of lesson again, and move those across. Now, in LearnPress, the way we had it set up, we actually had some lessons that were the start of a bigger section. Uh, so what I'm ultimately going to do is I'm going to uh, establish those as lessons, and some of the lessons that we're moving over are going to be changed one more time, and they're going to become topics but this is the starting point for what we're doing. I want to get them all grouped under a course first. So this is my current starting point. You might want to move courses first. Uh, and if so, let me know how that works for you. I'm always interested in finding better workflows or any uh, ways to avoid potential problems as well. Okay, so here we go. We're into the Ready to hit the bulk edit, apply, changing this again to the top lesson, the learn dash lesson. Okay, so I've got seven left in learn, seven lessons left in learn press, and they're all not assigned, which is good. Now I want to go to our courses. And uh, I'm only going to be doing this first course. But as I'm thinking about it, I'm going to wait and I'm going to manually copy my quizzes and questions over first uh, because I don't want to lose anything that might be holding our quizzes together at the moment. I'm not sure if exactly, uh, if we look at uh, the quizzes in Learn Press, we can see uh, a number of different quizzes here, but I don't want to lose any connections this might have simply because it's within a course itself. So that's this video for now, and there'll be more coming soon. Okay, so let's take a look at quizzes a little bit closer. So I am in the Learn Dash uh, system, and I'm looking at a quiz. Uh, this particular quiz is for our first course, and 
I want to point out a couple things. Uh, first off, you'll want to associate your quizzes right away with uh, a course. Once you do this, turns on the ability up at the top to be able to answer questions. So if you don't see these tabs at the top, uh, odds are your quiz has not yet been has not yet been associated with any course or any other material, and and the Learn Dash system simply won't let you create a question until you do that. Now, I also want to point out if you're coming from Learn Press, there are a lot of options here, a whole lot of options. So even if you use our custom post duplicate or, or our, our custom post conversion tool, uh, which I'm not recommending, I would recommend a copy paste for quizzes and questions. But if you do, uh, it might transfer over, but you're going to need to come in and, and set uh, quite a few different things here. Um, so there's some great documentation on how to do this on the Learn Dash site. Uh, highly I recommend that. There's some good forms too. This is one of the things that actually helped me figure out how to get uh, the uh, questions turned on at the top. Um, but lots of good information there. Um, some good videos as well. Uh, there's a creating a qu quiz section and uh, within it it has a great little video uh, tutorial that LearnPress provides. So check that out. But So here we are. We've got this quiz uh, that I've moved into the new system and we need to create some questions. So I'm going to hit the questions tab and this also brings up something that uh, is important about LearnPress. LearnPress shows something over here that looks like a question. So we have quizzes and we have the questions that come underneath of them. If I click into questions and if I take a look at any one of these questions, uh, let's say I do a quick edit on it, you'll notice that the post type is actually a WordPress post. There is no LearnPress custom post type for a, a question. And so that's part of the reason, half of the reason why we can't uh, swap that over or send that over in a conversion uh, to LearnDash. The other reason is because LearnDash doesn't even have a custom post type at all. It just has some extra fields that it associates, uh, I believe, with the quiz itself. So the questions get loaded uh, directly into this particular quiz. So we want to find the questions with our uh, with the quiz that we're working on. In this case, uh, as we come back over here, we're looking for the Awakening Chakras quiz. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm just going to copy that title, paste it in. Um, or actually, I'm looking in the wrong section. I need to go to my quizzes. And there it is right at the top, Awakening the Chakras. And so I'm going to go in and edit this quiz. Now I'm in LearnPress here. I'm trying to get to a place where I can copy paste my questions back and forth. So down here in LearnPress, the questions that we've created previously, they're all right here. And so we can now come in through and do some copy paste work to uh, set this up in the Learn Dash system. So I'm going to copy my first multiple choice question and come down here. And this is in the new system. I'm going to hit Add Question. I'm going to give it a title. And I'm not going to create a, a category uh, at this time. I'm going to repeat the question here. We used it as a title, but I'm also going to use it as the question. This is the thing to be asked. And we can set uh, some information uh, to teach people uh, if they uh, provide the correct answer or an incorrect answer. Um, if we like. In this case, I want to set up, up a multiple choice uh, option. So in this way, there are a lot more capabilities in the Learn Dash system. Um, the user interface for Learn Press is actually a little simpler here uh, in creating these things on the fly. But our uh, we quickly run into some limitations on what we, we can do with the things that we've created on the fly uh, in the Learn Press system, which is part of the reason why we're coming through. So we want to come in and kind of provide an answer. And do a couple more. So let's see, we did the crown top of the head area. This one's going to be our correct answer. And we can style these with HTML if we like. 
Uh, so we could put the correct answer in bold or something like that if we wanted to emphasize it or if we wanted to add some image or something like that with our uh, option choices. We could do that too. Add a couple more here. And the last answer to this question So there's our question. I'm not creating a template here. I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm going to go back to our quiz. Now, uh, if I were to click into questions again, that we now see this question here, and we can add another question if we like. There was a quick link at the top to add uh, an additional question, so we could have kept going with that flow if we wanted to. So I'm going to repeat this process for the questions and the quizzes that we need to move over. It's going to be a manual copy and paste thing, but along the way I'll, I'll be doing a lot of work to make sure that we polish up things and get all of the advantages that Learn Dash offers, and one of the reasons why we chose to pay for it, install it, and run this migration in the first place.